poem Wandering Singers by Sarojini Naidu. Let us first recite the poem Wandering Singers by Sarojini Naidu. Where the voice of the wind calls our wandering feet through echoing forest and echoing street with lutes in our hands ever singing we roam all men are our kindred the world is our home our lays are of cities whose luster is shed the laughter and beauty of a women long dead the sword of old battles the crown of old kings and happy and simple and sorrowful things what hope shall we gather what dreams shall we sow where the wind calls our wandering footsteps we go no love bids us starry no joy bids us wait the voice of the wind is the voice of our fate this poem is about the singers of india who used to travel in the ancient times singing about the ancient cities and the kingdoms and the brave soldiers and the beautiful queens so this poem tells us about those treasures of our where the voice of the wind calls our wandering feet through echoing forest and echoing street they say these wandering singers the traveling singers of india they say where the voice of the wind the wind calls us they are personifying or making or talking about the wind as a person so that is personification when you talk of a non living thing as a living thing so these wandering or the traveling singers of india that is our country they tell us that the wind is calling them and they will go wherever the wind calls them the through the echoing forests and echoing streets the sounds of their singing through the streets or the roads that they go by or the forest that they pass by with lutes in our hands ever singing our we roam that is lutes are lutes are musical instruments you can see in the picture they are holding an a musical instruments like a like a sitar or a tanpura kind of a thing and it has got strings in it like a guitar maybe you can say so these are these are the uh, wandering singers who are roaming around singing about the ancient history of our country and they are roaming around with this lute with all men are our kindred they say and all the world is our home obviously they say that all the people of the world are a family kindred is family so they treat them as people of the world as their family so therefore if the, all the people or all the men all the people are their family then the whole world is their home they treat it like that our lays are of cities whose luster is shed they say that the poems or the songs the poems that they sing are they are the stories about the cities the ancient cities that have lost their glory or the shine is already lost with so many years that have gone by the laughter and beauty of a women long dead the sword of old battles the crown of our kings their songs are about the beautiful queens that were there in the kingdoms of ancient india who were beautiful who would be very happy and who are no more now who are dead now and the battles that the many swords the swords of battle meaning the many battles that were uh, fought in the ancient times of our country in the different in the various kingdoms and also the crowns of the old kings the l- many kings that were there the songs or the poems are about the ancient kingdoms and history of our country then in the next half of the poem they go on to say 
and happy and simple and sorrowful things they sing about the happy things that happened in the past of our country the sorrowful things the simple things all the kind of things that happened happy sad all type of things the songs are about those what hope shall we gather what dreams shall we sow they say that what should we uh, spread what hope should we sp- uh, spread to the people and we have and what what dreams should we have so because they are wandering or they are roaming about from one place to another they don't have any dreams of their own their plans for their lives they are just going from one place to another so they have no dreams no plans nothing to do in one place and they carry on to say where the wind calls our wandering footsteps we go they say that wherever the wind we hear the sound or wherever they we feel that we should now go in this direction or the other direction they just go they just move ahead no love bids us tarry no joy bids us wait they say that there is uh, nothing that no love about anything that can make us stop in one place so they say that the voice of the wind is the voice of our fate they say that because nothing can stop us because we don't have anything in our lives that can stop us no family otherwise to stay in one place so therefore we just move about with the wind and that the voice of the wind the call of the wind is the fate our fate our lives they say that our lives are just about going from one place to another wherever they feel or they they feel that now they must go in a certain place the call of the wind in a certain direction to go and carry on singing about the wonderful uh, past rich history of our country they go on singing about the various things of the past kingdoms the ancient kingdoms so it is a wonderful poem about the ancient past of our country the singers the wandering singers that move about from one place to another the call of the wind at the voice of the wind here we learn the term personification a characteristic of the poem where a non living object or non living thing or nature is treated as a person the wind here is treated as a person so let's recite the poem once more wandering singers by sarojini naidu where the voice of the wind calls our wandering feet through echoing forest and echoing street with lutes in our hands ever singing we roam all men are our kindred the world is our home our lays are of cities whose luster is shed the laughter and beauty of a women long dead the sword of old battles the crown of old kings and happy and simple and sorrowful things what hope shall we gather what dreams shall we sow where the wind calls our wandering footsteps we go no love bids us tarry no joy bids us wait the voice of the wind is the voice of our fate